Hello and welcome to the German for Beginners class lesson 6. In this lesson you will learn about common adjectives and how the ending will change in the nominative case. Let's have a look. First of all, let's have a look at three new vocabularies. Beautiful, new and old. Beautiful in German is schön, schön, new, neu, neu, and old, alt, alt, schön, neu, alt. Let's start with a definite article, der, die, and das in the nominative case. The first article is the masculine form, der. Here we have the example of der neue Wagen, der neue Wagen, which can be translated as the new car. In this lesson, I will use two different words for car. So the first one is der Wagen. Here you can see that in the case of der, the adjective neu changes to neue. Der neue Wagen, the new car. Let's have a look at the feminine form, die. Here we have the example of die schöne Stadt. Die schöne Stadt, which means the beautiful city. Die Stadt, the city. Here you can see that in the case of die, the adjective schön changes to schöne. Schöne. So the beautiful city, die schöne Stadt. Now let's have a look at the neuter form. Das, das alte Auto. Das alte Auto, which can be translated as the old car. Das Auto, the car. Also here in the case of das, the adjective alt changes to alte. Alte. So the old car. Das alte Auto. To sum up, in the case of the definite articles, der, die, das, you have to add an e to the adjectives. Let's have a look at the plural form, die. Here we have the example of die neuen Bücher. Die neuen Bücher. The new books. Here in the case of die in the plural form, the adjective neu changes to neuen. Die neuen Bücher, the new books. Let's have a look at two examples where the adjectives won't change the ending. Here we have the example of the old car and the beautiful city. If we change the construction of the sentence the old car to the car is old or the beautiful city to the city is beautiful, then the adjectives won't change. In German, the car is old can be translated as Das Auto ist alt. Das Auto ist alt. And the city is beautiful. Die Stadt ist schön. Die Stadt ist schön. So always remember that in German, if the adjective follows the verb, then there's no change in the ending. Now let's have a look at the indefinite article ein and eine in the nominative case. In the case of the masculine form ein, we have the example of ein neuer Wagen. Ein neuer Wagen, which is a new car. Here the adjective neu changes the ending to neuer. So a new car, ein neuer Wagen. In the case of the feminine form eine, we have the example of eine schöne Stadt, a beautiful city. Here the adjective schön changes the ending to schöne, the beautiful city, eine schöne Stadt. And the last one in the neuter case, ein, we have the example of ein altes Auto, ein altes Auto, an old car. Here the adjective alt changes to altes, an old car, ein altes Auto. Now let's continue with colorful phrases or color adjectives. Here we have the example of der rote Wagen. Der rote Wagen, the red car. In the case of the definite article der Wagen, 
The adjective rot changes to rote. The second example, die violette Blume. Die violette Blume, the purple flower. Here in the case of die Blume, the flower, the color adjective violet changes to violette. Die violette Blume, the purple flower. The next sentence is das gelbe Buch. Das gelbe Buch, which can be translated as the yellow book. Also here the color adjective changes from gelb to gelbe. Now let's continue with the indefinite article. Ein blaues Auge. Ein blaues Auge, which can be translated as a black eye. Here in the case of the color adjective blau, which actually means blue, the adjective changes from blau to blaues. Auge is neuter, das Auge. So a black eye, ein blaues Auge. The next one is eine silberne Münze. Eine silberne Münze, which means a silver coin. In the case of the color adjective silber, you have to add the ending ne. So the color adjective here, silber, changes to silberne. And Münze is feminine, die Münze, which means coin. The next one is ein grauer Schal. Ein grauer Schal, which means a grey scarf. Here the adjective grau changes to grauer. Schal is masculine, der Schal, which means scarf. So a grey scarf, ein grauer Schal. Now let's have a look at the plural form. Die braunen Schuhe. Die braunen Schuhe, the brown shoes. Here the color adjective braun changes to braunen. Braunen. The singular form of die Schuhe is der Schuh. Der Schuh. So the brown shoes, die braunen Schuhe. The second example of the plural form is die schwarzen Schafe. Die schwarzen Schafe, which can be translated as the black sheep. Here we have the color adjective schwarz, which changes to schwarzen. Schwarzen. The singular form of die Schafe, sheep, is das Schaf. Das Schaf. So the black sheep, die schwarzen Schafe. This was lesson 6. I will see you in the next lesson where we will learn about question words.